Hello everybody, welcome to Sana Nami Tindo. This is your boy Isaac Barak Odera and yes, we continue our series on fashion and design. On set, as always, I usually bring the best guests we have in East Africa and beyond. And on set, I have none other than Dennis Onyango. Dennis Onyango is a fashion designer. He's also a minister of the gospel. He That's an amazing combination. We'll get to to talk, talk to him and also get to know more about his work and how long he has been in this fashion industry. So stay put, don't touch that dial, invite your friends to come and watch this show. Remember it's every Wednesday at 8 p.m. So let's dive in and talk to our guest today. Dennis, welcome to the show. Thank you. We are so excited to have you here. I'm so much happy to be here. Yes, yes, yes. yes. So you can do a brief introduction of yourself. Who is Dennis? Okay, awesome. Yes, yes. Thank you very much. Dennis Ochien Onyango. Yes. He's a son of Onyango. A well, son of Onyango. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes, I happened to be born many years back. Mm -hmm. 38 years back. 38 years back. You yes. look young. <laughs> thank you, thank you. By the grace of God. Amen, amen. Yes, so mm -hmm. born and raised in a village called Wanganga. Wananga. Where, where is that? That's Kisumu a, County? That's amazing. Kisumu County. Okay. Nyando, uh, some county. Okay. Uh, in a location called Awasi. Awasi. Yeah. Is River Nyando passing somewhere near that? It's, it's near our place actually. Okay, yeah. nice, So nice. that's where yeah. I was born and raised. Mm -hmm. Yeah, in the course of uh, growing up, I uh, also actually lived in different areas in Kenya. Okay. So finally, I am actually recently based in Thika. Now currently you're based in Thika. Yes. So where did Dennis go to primary? Where did Dennis go to high school? Oh, that is interesting because uh, my primary school life and also secondary school life was life was also very, very complex. Okay. I I schooled in close to four primary schools. Wow. For all clear. Groups of schools. <laughs> Yes, yes, yes. Yeah, so I began my lower primary in my village. Then I had to be taken later on from class three to my mom's place. Okay. And then from you can mention the names of the school. Okay, that was called Wanganga Primary School. Wanganga Primary. Yes. Uh -huh. Then uh -huh. uh, from class three to class uh, five, I went to Nyakakana Primary School. Where that's a country <laughs> star. Nyakakana. Yeah. Okay. Uh -huh. Then I went from class uh, uh, five to class six. I was in Kobura Primary School. Kobura Primary School. That one is somewhere in a hero. Uh -huh. uh, then from class six seven, I was in a place in uh, Kiambu County, mm -hmm. a place called Raini. Raini? Yeah. So, primary? Uh, the, no, not uh, the, the area is called Raini. Okay. But the school is called King Othua Primary School. Okay. Then, uh, Where those are many schools to <laughs> study finally, primary? I did, I did my <laughs> KCP back in my village. Okay. Is in one primary school. You went back to your village yes, again? Yes, yes. yes. Oh my god, this so is interesting. Yeah, uh -huh. so many primary schools. Okay. Yeah, so from there I went to high school. I was called in Onjiko. Onjiko High because, School. Yeah, uh, yeah though because of uh, uh, family challenges, I was not able to actually uh, be admitted at Onjiko. Okay. So I went at uh, Awasi. Awasi, Awasi sec secondary school. Secondary school, okay. Yeah, where I schooled in for one and two. Mm -hmm. And uh, because of uh, now uh, financial issues, okay. I was not able actually to go through to uh, sit for the exam. Okay. So I dropped out. So after dropping dropping out, mm -hmm. uh, that's when uh, I got to, I got myself in Kisumu town. Okay. Yeah, where I got someone to engage me in doing some uh, uh, tie and dye, mm -hmm. uh, screen printing, mm. just artwork. Activities. At this at this point, how old are you? I was I was seventeen. Wow. Yeah. So you were quite young. I was by then, yes. Yes, you yes. were quite young yes, by yes, then. Yes, I was okay. Yeah. So seventeen, you went to Kisumu, yes. Kisumu City. Kisumu City. Yes. yes, the city at the lakeside. I tell you. Yes. <laughs> so you went at the lakeside city and started art. Yes. I okay. Now doing art mm -hmm. and. Uh, did that for two years. Two and, years. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I, then I realized that I had, I had the hunger to go clear school. Okay. Yeah. So 
after Kisumu, actually I stayed in Kisumu for one and a half year. Wow. After that, I found myself in Busia, Buda. Okay. Yeah, that one now was in the year 2003. 2003? Yes. Okay. I found myself in Busia, Buda. Mm. And in Busia, Buda, I actually was continuing with what I had trained to do in mm -hmm. Kisumu, mm -hmm. doing that, those artworks. Mm -hmm. So from there, I met someone, actually a friend. Okay. Or rather someone who I had known, mm. and he uh, was schooling in Uganda. Okay. Yes, yeah, so when I approached him, he told mm. me that, yes, in Uganda, you know, you can go register for O level, mm -hmm. then you can get the chance. Okay. So I went and registered for in Uganda. In Uganda. Wow. And I came there in 2004, mm. I was able to do my O level examination. Okay. Yes. Nice, nice, nice. Yeah, so that one is like Form 4 of Kenya. Okay, so yeah. the O level, uh, form 5, form 6, is uh, it? Form 5 and form 6 is A level. Or A level. Yeah. So O level is form, uh, form, form one, 4. Form 1 uh -huh. and form 4. Okay, yes. okay, okay. Yes. So you finished studying in Uganda? Yes. Which school is that? It's called Busia Progressive Secondary School. Wow, you are an international student. <laughs> I, I, I really love I, I really love your 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 zeal to persevere and to and to push through life because we are struggling with a generation where they want things so lightly that just because I didn't get school fees to uh, finish my form three my form four I want to give up in life yeah. na nataka tu kukaa nyumbani do nothing I love your persistence Thank you. what what would be your take just even before we progress and talk about your fashion what what's your take on on life or what's your perception about life that motivates you to keep moving and to keep going even in hard situations oh, I believe that uh, in each person mm -hmm. there is a uh, there's a power, mm -hmm. an indwelling power, mm -hmm. that always will cause things to happen. Wow. Yeah, so with that belief, mm -hmm. I believe that I can become anything that I would want to become. Wow. So that is the driving factor. That is what drives you yes. as a person. Yes. You know there is strength in everyone. There is, yes. To persevere every situation. Yes. We don't need to uh, hang our boots, actually. Mm. We need to keep walking. Regardless, you need to keep walking. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. This is really inspiring. Thank you. So after Busia, uh, what next? After now you, you, you finished your O levels, what next? After finishing my O levels, I I ventured into business. Okay, nice. Yeah, Interesting. I, yeah, being at the border at the border, uh -huh. you know there are so many activities that go yes. goes around. Yes. So I ventured into business. I would buy fabrics, uh -huh. take, take fabrics from uh -huh. Busia, Uganda. Okay. And I would uh, actually now bring them to Busia, Kenya, uh -huh. and also the towns that are within Busia. Okay. That is Bungoma, Kakamega, and uh, also Mumias. Uh -huh. So that's how I began. Okay. So from the year 2005, uh -huh. I began uh, practicing you know, that, that those kind of activities. Trades. Yes. Mm. Yeah. So that's how I began. And come there from 2006. Mm -hmm. uh, something mm -hmm. interested, come to 2005, mm -hmm. that's the time I met Jesus. Wow. Hallelujah. I gave my life to Christ. Amen. Amen. Yeah. And mm -hmm. that one was truly a turning point. Wow. Yeah. To me. Wow. Yeah, yeah. In 2005. Oh, yeah. How old are you at this point? Right now, um, I'll be 39. Okay, oh, now you're 39. Oh, Back then, then, yes. By then, I was 21. 21, so yeah. you were still young. Yeah. Oh, nice, yeah. nice. So you go to meet Christ, yeah. still doing uh, the trades. Yeah. And how did you enter now into fashion? Uh, that one came much later. Much later? Much later. Interesting. <laughs> I thought you went maybe after that, you maybe you went to a, a fashion school and no, studied fashion. That one came, came, came much, much later. Okay. Yes. So to Rudy to Apple, yes. what next? Uh, from there, when I gave my life to Christ, mm. I, I found myself mm -hmm. fully dedicated to the ministry in the church. Okay. Yeah, so with that, uh, the, an opportunity of going to school also came. Okay. Yeah, so I got a chance to register for a Bible and Theology course. Mm -hmm. Yeah, with the African Theological College. That one is in Kitale. In Kitale. Yeah. Okay. So I went to Kitale mm -hmm. and I did a course for one year. One year. Level. Mm -hmm. Yes. So after doing that, I 
finished by a, a camp two seven. Mm -hmm. That's when I was finishing. Uh, I was now back in Busia. Okay. And actually, I was still continuing uh, with the the trades that I was doing. Okay. Yeah. So mm -hmm. uh, by that time, actually, I had done some, had made some various contacts on mm -hmm. where to supply the materials, oh. what to do, mm -hmm. and actually, I even now widened my market scope. Oh, nice. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So I was able to sustain my college uh, college. Uh, uh, tuition, tuition fees, fees and stuff. Uh, uh, my everything, any mm. other things. Mm. I was able to come up to cater for it on yes, your own. On my own. Okay, nice, yes, nice. Yes. So from there, but it was seven. I think the post-election violence also yes. came mm. after the election. Yes, uh, it really, really cost so much to 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 retreat. Mm. Uh, then uh, after after now uh, going for theology course. Mm -hmm. I got another opportunity okay. to go to school again. Okay, nice. Yeah, mm -hmm. which now which now was highly advanced. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. Yeah, so come to uh, eight, I got a chance to be admitted with the uh, Pan African Christian University. Okay, that's Park. Park. Yeah, here at Kasarani. Oh, nice. Yeah, so a boy from Busia was leaving Busia, come mm. to Nairobi wow. to school. Does not know anyone. Yeah, I knew no one. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. So I came. I came by faith. I came to Nairobi. Was it a scholarship? I, it was partly scholarship, actually. Mm -hmm. I got some people who sponsored me mm -hmm. from the church. Okay. Uh, but uh, the fact that I had a business, mm -hmm. I, at some point, I it was left to uh, to my capacity alone. Ouch. Yeah. So, mm. but we carried on until mm. we were able to clear also. Yes. 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 So you came to Pan African University. Yes. Uh, how how long was the course? The how course was four course? years. Four years. Yes, from two eight. Oh. Actually, it was to be three years, mm -hmm. but it it extended for four years because mm -hmm. I had to defer at some point. Mm -hmm. Yes. Wow. Yeah. So two eight, I joined, and I uh, began classes. Mm -hmm. I was doing Christian leadership. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I did that up to twenty uh, ten. 2010. And then, uh, actually, I was not able actually to pro to continue okay. because of finances. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so it stopped for one year okay. before I would pick. Mm -hmm. Then finally, I graduated in 2012. 2012. Yeah, you got to graduate. Yeah. Amazing. Yes. I love your journey. Na bado hatujafika kwa fashion. Bado. Aya. Okay. You have graduated from the Park University. Yeah. What next? Uh, next, I was to actually get back to Busia uh -huh. and, to continue uh, with your business. Uh, uh, yeah, yes, uh -huh. uh, at one point. Mm. Uh, but uh, the bigger thing, I was to become a pastor. Okay, now yeah, in Busia. In Busia. Wow. Yeah, okay. Because you know the church was so much behind my coming to school. Yes. And studying. It so, had really supported yeah. you. Mm. So I was to go back and uh, probably be installed to yes. be a pastor. Yes. Yeah. Which church is this? Uh, it's called uh, Zion Temple. Okay. Yeah, it's uh -huh. in Busia. Yes. Yes. My bishop is Bishop uh, David Bolimo. Okay. Yes. Nice. Yeah. Uh -huh. So, but that one never became. Because okay. in the course of my uh, schooling, mm -hmm. uh, previously I had met a lady whom actually I was to marry. Okay. Yeah. And uh, we got married in mm -hmm. the year 2009. 2009. Yes. That is still while in while in still in college. Okay. Yeah, but we we mm. decided to settle. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So settling with my wife actually uh, contributed so highly uh, to me now settling thicker where I am current to currently. Okay. Okay. Yeah. yeah. So it, it you you didn't see the need of going back to Busia because yes. you had already settled with family. Hey, now we we are beginning our family. Okay. And it was not easy now to go back to Busia mm. uh, while my wife uh, is working here. Yeah. So I had mm. to now join her mm. and now try to find my means of living, making a living now, yeah, from where mm. she is. Yeah. Wow. Yes. Wow. Wow. Yeah. Interesting. Yeah. So what next? Uh, what next uh, after graduating? You know, in life you get to really, really struggle with yourself. Mm -hmm. uh, they, in my course of uh, studies, I did, I learned about uh, your personality traits. Okay. Our temperaments. Mm. And, uh, you know, it also clearly tells one to get to the true identity 
and also the true potential that each one of us has. Yes. Yeah. So uh, after clearing college, mm. I had a serious uh, a moment actually mm -hmm. to get to know who am I. Wow. Uh, what are my potentials, mm -hmm. my abilities, mm. and also how I can execute them. Mm. To, to live comfortably mm. and never actually to feel aggrieved by the situations, mm. things that are happening, mm. but to what I can do so that I can be, at the end of the day, mm. fully content okay. with myself. Nice, nice. Yeah, in the course of asking such difficult questions, mm. I learned that when I was growing up, I mm. wanted to become something. Mm -hmm. Whatever I wanted to become, mm because of the course of life or the yes. systems that are uh, the systems and principle that uh, controls life yes. i was unable to mm. but where i was then i realized i could do something about it mm -hmm. i wanted to become an architecture wow yeah wow but uh, having not been able to achieve that mm -hmm. i realized that uh, i'm artistic you're, you're artistic. I'm an artist. Mm. Yeah, I mm. draw nicely. Mm. I, I love just artwork. Mm -hmm. So I thought of how I can now execute that. my ability mm. and also make a living out of it. Wow. So that one <coughs> so much contributed now mm. to taking the line of fashion and design. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. I love the fact that you ask, you sat yourself down and asked difficult questions. Abisa. Do you do mentorship programs? Let me just take you off course, Kidogo. Do you do mentorship programs? Because uh, I, I, I love the, the logic and the thinking, the way you're breaking down issues. Because sometimes the issues of life can put someone really down. Yeah. So uh, do, do you do mentorship programs? Have you, do, are you walking the journey with maybe other people? just to help them understand personalities and that life should not put someone down. Yes, I do. Yes. I do. While I was at park, mm -hmm. uh, you know, there are these programs when you are, when you are clearing, mm -hmm. you, are, you can have an opportunity to go and do ministry or offer ministry yes. outside. Yes. So I got a chance to, uh, to engage with Focus. Mm -hmm. And I also got a chance to engage with a, an institution called ACMI, African Mission International. Okay. And uh, with Focus, you mm -hmm. know, it's basically, there's a program called the STEM. Mm -hmm. Basically, they reach out to college students yeah. and university yeah. students mm -hmm. to offer a mentorship program okay. to them. Wow. So I did that. Oh, okay. I also did that with the uh, ACMI as mm -hmm. a life changer. Mm -hmm. also did, I was attached to KU, I was attached to MKU, mm. and also to other colleges in Thika Town. Mm. And that one is Excel Institute, mm. uh, Thika Technical, mm. uh, Thika College of Banking. Nice. Yeah, so I nice. worked uh, with those institutions for close to one and a half year. Wow. Mentorship, mentoring actually young people, wow. growing with them. And also, you know, telling them not to focus only on reading, but <laughs> yes. focus Get a on balance. other strengths <laughs> yes. also. Yes. And in the course of that, mm. there are people who began even businesses. Wow. Yeah. Mm. Of doing uh, catering. Mm. Yeah. I'm mm. very, very actually impressed. Today, there's one guy who offers such services in th within Thika. Okay. And he's doing very, very good. Wow. He's in the uh, hospitality industry, he's doing mm. catering, mm. he's doing uh, uh, hostels management, mm. wow. and he's doing very, very great. Uh, be because I, I really feel there is need for leaders to nurture other leaders. True. Because for a very long time we have had so many amazing leaders. Yeah. But now when they leave, yeah. they leave a gap. That's true. And I, I as in just with the talk we are having, yeah. I can, I really perceive you as a leader and someone who is uh, impacting this generation thank in one you. way or another. Thank and you, thank you. I'm excited that you are part of that. Yeah, thank you. So you discovered that you are artistic. Yes. You now entered into the line of fashion. How yes. did you enter into fashion? Okay, uh, right before I graduated, mm -hmm. Uh, you know, in the course of engagement, you you meet different people. Yes. And uh, someone will t tell you, why mm -hmm. wouldn't you try this out? Mm -hmm. So in, in the course of trying, yes. I realized that, you know, I would uh, reach out to people mm. for fashion. Okay. 
Yeah, and when I will engage them, they will even actually give me work. Okay, uh, interesting. Then I will now use guys who do it mm. to do for me, <laughs> and I supply. <laughs> Ouch! <laughs> Ouch! So, so in the course of that, after realizing that, you know, I was more into such engagement, mm -hmm. uh, before I graduated, I bought a machine. Okay. It's called an embroidery machine. Okay. Yeah, it does some some mm. uh, artistic work. at the edge. At not really at the edge. Okay. Or oh, anywhere. Anywhere. Mm. It, it 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 designs mm. the cloth. Okay. Nice. Yeah, nice. Sorry that yeah. I didn't put on one yeah. that I've embroidered. We'll show one. We'll yes, show one of yeah. your So outfits. when I bought that machine, yeah. actually without knowing how to use it, mm -hmm. so I just bought it. Mm. Yeah. So when I bought it, I took time to learn it, study how it, it works. and. Uh, just try to operate it mm -hmm. then uh, i also met someone who was actually able to operate it well okay who came and gave me some coaching on how to operate it mm -hmm. and uh, from that point i began now doing some embroidery work oh, on, nice. with that machine mm -hmm. so uh, later on mm -hmm. i reached out to another lady mm -hmm. who now actually tailors Mm -hmm. Yeah, so I, when I reached out to her, I told her, come, mm. if you can come with your machine, mm. uh, I can get a shop, because I actually I did put up a shop mm. where I used to, I, I was selling handbags for ladies, okay. shoes, mm. and uh, those uh, stuffs. Eh? Mm -hmm. So I called her and she agreed, so mm. she came mm. and uh, she, would, she was now doing the tailoring work at my shop with her mm. machine. Mm. Uh, while I was actually going out mm. to seek for customers mm. and bring them so that we can tailor for them. Mm. So it, that's how it began. Wow. In the course of time, I was mm. able, being the fact that I was with her, mm. I was able also to start learning and Ouch. actually building interest. Mm -hmm. And I realized that I was becoming more passionate about this. Mm -hmm. I was really, really into this and I finally embraced it fully. Wow. And uh, the first work that I did, I did for a friend. Mm -hmm. whom we had when is been. this? Uh, this is now 2013. 2013. 2013. Mm -hmm. Now, that was the first work I did for a friend. Yes. Whom we happened to serve with together in also a uh, college ministry. Okay. Nice. Yeah, he was now mm -hmm. doing a wedding. Mm -hmm. And uh, when he wanted someone to tailor his clothes, yes. he reached out to me. Mm. And I tell, told him, yes, I, we can do this. Yes. So he gave me the work for the gents, for the ladies, for the kids. Yes. And I did the entire package wow. yeah, for that wedding. That was the first the project, first project I did. Wow. So that one, you know, it came uh, uh, like a trial, mm. which was highly fulfilling. Yes. Yeah. Because mm. uh, when I did it, finally, it opened many doors wow. for me. And I think I couldn't uh, struggle again mm -hmm. on, on which line to take. Yes. I had to fully now believe that this is it. Mm. I need to fully bank on this mm. and stay and stick to this. Wow. Yeah. So that's what made me now mm. to now uh, clearly tell this is where I need to capitalize on. Mm. Yes. That was your line. Yeah. So 13... 2013, you yeah. started, did the very first project, yes. and you continued until now, 2022. 22. Yes. This is really amazing. I have seen some of the outfits you have done. Yes. Specifically, there are particular blue suits that yes. I have seen. We'll be showcasing it in the show, yes. even as we get to talk. Uh, how long does it take you to do maybe a piece, a single piece of uh, outfit, uh, or uh, as in, how do you work? How do you work? Oh, it's interesting. Mm. It, there, are, it's not easy to clearly tell mm. how long it can take me because mm. there are various other factors mm. to be considered when you are working on a, a particular design. Okay. Yeah. First, uh, you know, we have uh, different kinds of uh, out outfits. Yes. We have the suits. Mm -hmm. We have the shirts. Mm. We have the dresses, mm. we have the skirts, the mm. blouses, the mm. trousers. Yes. They all consume uh, each different. one mm. different mm. and uh, specific timelines. Okay. And uh, it's, it may not be very, very clear to tell, mm -hmm. uh, but what I can tell in a day if I am at work. Yes. Or, or what I can uh, tell clearly, mm. I have people who are working with me okay. today. 
So it's a it's a company. It's, it's a, a company. company. Yeah, it's a company. Oh, today. nice, nice. Yeah, but mm. in a day you find mm. someone uh, will do you not know, like these pieces. Mm. Mm -hmm. uh, maybe two pieces in a day. Two pieces in a yes. day. Yes, oh, a nice, top and nice. a bottom. A eh. top and a bottom. Eh. Yeah, though it's not easy. Mm. You have to really it's, focus it's work. and yeah. concentrate mm. for you even to achieve those two pieces in mm. a day. Mm. Yes. Nice. Yeah. Nice. Nice. Mm -hmm. So, what is your experience? Uh, uh, how how has it been for you over the years now, and having to build your own company? Has it been challenging? Has it been an interesting journey? What What's your take on that? It's been challenging, interesting, yeah. Yeah. exciting, <laughs> uh -huh. full of experiences. Yes. Yes. I you know from twenty thirteen now come to twenty fourteen. I also met a friend mm -hmm. who who, di, who was a, a good tailor, mm -hmm. and this friend I met him somewhere in Nairobi, mm -hmm. Nairobi Textile. Yes. So I t I had an engagement with him, mm -hmm. and we sat down, mm -hmm. and I invited him home over to mm -hmm. Thika, mm -hmm. so that instead of working in Nairobi, he mm -hmm. comes over to Thika. We mm -hmm. work together. Yes. And he agreed. Mm -hmm. He shifted okay. his family and everything and mm. he came mm. so when he came uh, he is a, a good guy in mm. doing ladies pieces oh, okay he does nice dresses mm. he does oh, great coats for mm. ladies mm. all the ladies outfits oh, he nice. does very nice. well mm. so we worked with him mm. actually for two years it never oh. lasted to for, for some time <laughs> it only lasted for two years mm -hmm. so uh he contributed very very positively mm. even to the growth of my business oh, wow Yes. So in the course of uh, of that engagement, mm. I also focused mm. now on a particular line mm. in fashion and design. Mm -hmm. I focused now on doing men's attires. Okay. Yeah. Mm. So while well, he was doing now the, the ladies, ladies, yeah, mm. I, mean, I focused on men's, mm. and actually the business began to pick so well. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So I uh, come twenty sixteen. Mm -hmm. he, he will not continue with me. Mm. He, he left my place and actually went and established his, his own, place, own place, which was a positive thing. Mm. So because of that, I had to look for another fundi now. Yeah, oh, to do yeah, ladies. Yeah, in our industry, we call ourselves fundies. Mm, mm. So I look for another fundi mm. and I got one. Mm. And actually, that's how I've been surviving. Okay. Yeah, I employ okay. guys. Mm. Yeah, right now I have two fundies okay. who does so well ladies' attires. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I have uh, one fundi mm. who does suits mm. very well. Oh, nice. Yes. Mm. I also have a fundi who does gents at us so well. Amazing. Yeah. Mm. So what I do uh, mostly is in the capacity of management. Mm -hmm. But at the same time, I do these things. In mm. the course of time, I've learned to do the ladies' outfits. Wow. I do gents' outfits. So mm. extremely nice. Wow. And, uh, but you know, you cannot, uh, you cannot uh, effectively function. Yes. Uh, when, when you're alone, you yes, need others. other people to yeah. be able to so do this. That's mm. how we operate. Mm. Yeah. And I love the fact that it's not a one man game. I, it, it because can Because be. any, any industry, we need other people we need. who are nurtured and yeah. also who have grown. Yeah. So, in the course yes. of that, mm. uh, we, we've been growing. Mm. And uh, I also came to, uh, to learn mm. my capacity in uh, uh, empowering. Mm -hmm. So, when I learned that, mm. I began to engage. Uh, young people in training them. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so I've yeah. also actually been offering training to young So you people. do training? I do training. Okay, do you charge? How, how, does, yeah, it, do how charge. does it happen? I do charge. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I do charge on a monthly basis. Okay. Uh, but to, when you come, we have to agree. Okay. Because uh, at least for you to be uh, effective and mm -hmm. at least to be competent, mm -hmm. when, you are, when now I'm releasing you, mm -hmm. uh, there's a, a duration uh, that would require you require mm -hmm. uh, to have taken my how, place. How, how long? One year. One year. At least. Okay. Yes. Nice. Nice. Yeah. This is really nice. Yeah. I know we can go on and on and on. Yeah. No, 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 for you are time, time. Okay. But I'm excited uh, to have hosted you here and yes. we'll be showcasing some of the photos of the work you have done. Thank you. But even before we continue, can you just mention, you can give us the name of your business and maybe where we can find you. Okay. There's someone watching and maybe loves your work someone okay. wants training okay. where can we find you 
Uh, my business is based in uh, Thika, okay. Makungeni. Makungeni. Yeah. Okay. It is close to where Nana's mall is. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So that's where I operate. Mm -hmm. My business has a name called Dean's Fashion House. Dean's Fashion House. Yes. Okay. Yeah. So that's that's us. Mm -hmm. And uh, in the social media, mm -hmm. we have a Facebook page platform. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Where we showcase our items, okay. our photos. On Facebook, do. but do you still Dean's use fashion. the name Dean's Fashion? Yes. Fashion. Okay. Yes. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Yes. You can give us your phone contact. Okay. okay. Yes. Uh, my contact is 0726. Okay. 990587. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yes. So if anyone needs outfits, we can get in touch with you using uh, that number. So, so, so much. Yes, yes, yes. 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 Before we finish up, yes. allow me to do, f allow us to do a pop quiz. Uh -huh. A pop quiz. These are just basic questions about you, what you love and what you enjoy. Yeah. Are you ready? Yeah. <laughs> Number one, yes. what was your favorite subject in high school? I love English. <laughs> English, history, yeah. English and history. Yeah. English and history. Let yeah. me ask you one question in history. Uh -huh. Those in ethics. Siku fix. Siku fix. What was the, uh, which year did Kenya get, get it it's independence. 1963. 1963, <laughs> you are a good student. Let's go on. Number two, uh, what's your favorite food? I love chapati and kuku. Chapati and kuku. Yes. Ukipewa yo uko sawa. Number two, yes. number three, yes. uh, ulisoma primary school nyingi. Yes. So I don't know, can you remember any, any, okay, amongst the many groups of school you went to, yes. <laughs> choose one school and give us the boost, best motto, school motto, and maybe una, una is a kumbuka. Wow. Your school motto. Oh, I'll, I'll choose Wanganga. Yes. Where, where in my village. Uh -huh. uh, striving for excellence. Striving for excellence. Yes. And that's why you're here. Yes. <laughs> nice. <laughs> nice. Favorite destination. Is there a place where you have always loved to travel to and maybe you're planning to travel to? Mombasa. Mombasa. Yes. How do you Mombasa ni bado? Imagine, uh -huh. interestingly. Yes. Interestingly. You uh, need to. I need to. Yes. I'm, I've been planning and planning and planning. Uh, I need to. Yes. 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 The last question, yes. your favorite book. Which is the last book you read and which really inspired you? Uh, uh, okay. The book that uh, really inspired. Uh, right now I'm doing a book. Mm. Uh, by Anthony Ro Robbins. Okay. Awaken the giant with the new. Oh, nice. Yeah, mm. and it's talking more to men. It's it's, it's inclined more to is, men. It is in line more to what a man is. Yes. Yeah, and uh, that rea to being able to realize the power that is within a man. Oh, nice, nice. And being able to bring it out. Awaken the giant. Awake, awaken the giant within you. Within you. Yeah. I will look for that yeah, book. Yeah. We are excited to yeah. have hosted you here. I have not touched on whether you've not asked me whether I have a family or not. Oh, you can you can mention, <laughs> please. Thank you, Wendy Nivani Epigovit. You can mention and also appreciate and okay. send some greetings at okay. home. Okay. Yes. I am married to one wife, female. Eh? Uh -huh. A female wife. Yes. Uh -huh. She is Annabelle Ng Masake. Oh, nice. Yeah. My wife, we met when we were young, actually, yes. uh -huh. and we've grown together. Uh -huh. And we are blessed with three kids. Wow. Uh, wow. We have Wesley Ochien. Wesley Ochien. Yeah. Our firstborn is 12. Uh -huh. He's seven now. Uh -huh. We have Marvel Mitch. Uh -huh. uh, Marvel Mitch. Yeah. Marvel is in grade five mm -hmm. uh, at the age of uh, 10 okay yeah then we have uh, Jewel Lera oh nice I and love Jewel. the names they're beautiful yeah. <laughs> nice Jewel Lera is mm. in a play group okay yeah uh, she's uh, approaching four mm -hmm. yeah and mm -hmm. uh, they've been actually a pillar of support to me mm -hmm. and uh, we we are extremely together mm -hmm. and we bless the lord amen i send them greetings yes send them yeah greetings. they're aware that i'm yeah. here today yes now salam yeah, sana. Mm -hmm. you can just look in the camera and tell okay. them okay yeah. i i greet my family yeah. i love you so much mm -hmm. i know you are aware that i'm here today yes doing this thing <laughs> yes. and we bless the lord for this opportunity <laughs> yes god bless you as mm -hmm. you'll be watching mm -hmm. i know it is be an awesome one Thank you. Amazing, amazing. Yes, you yes. can just give us your parting shot, maybe an encouragement or to inspire someone maybe who might not be, who might be feeling down or something. 
just a minute of parting shot. Okay. Yes. Uh, besides uh, doing fashion and design, mm -hmm. I'm also very passionate about youths mm -hmm. and actually engaging youths mm -hmm. into being able to uh, to 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 build their financial capacity mm -hmm. early in life. Mm -hmm. If you're a young person, mm -hmm. the best thing you can do to yourself. Mm -hmm try to find a base in financial grounds nice. as early as possible. Mm. Start building yourself early. Mm. There's, a, uh, there's, a, there's, a, there's a problem that, that I began doing in 2013. Mm -hmm. I got myself into a circle. Okay. And today I have grown myself so much to where mm. I am because wow. of that financial institution guiding. Mm -hmm. So as a young person, mm. identify where you can begin to discipline yourself financially okay. so that when you grow, mm you'll not actually be the same or mm. compared to other other people. Nice. But you'll be able now to chart your way out. Nice. Being able to stand nice. and cause things to happen. Amazing. Yeah. Mm. Uh, probably something that I was forgetting. Yes. Uh, one of the guys that I know, uh, you know him, Edwin yes. Meyer. Yes, he was here on the show. Yeah, he, uh, he's also one of my students. Wow. And uh, I have model him to become what he is he's, and he's i will amazing. bless the lord for that he's the one who dresses me actually i know yeah. i'm aware thank you so much <laughs> thank you so much thank you're you excited so much. to have hosted you yes, here yes. i can't wait to see you in the next five years and maybe see the establishment and uh you have done yes as far as fashion is concerned and yes. i'm so honored that you honored our invitation thank you so much yes i'm also yes. very glad yes yes yes, I'm sorry. yes so that, that was all from us here at sana namitindo the show has been a bit long uh, but i hope you have enjoyed the session that we have had here <laughs> with mr dennis onyango one of the best designers in east and central africa so make sure you keep watching sana namitindo next month we start a new series on barbers eh so how vinyozi wenyu wenyu wanakuwa huko nyumbani eh you tag them here we need to bring them here on this show so make sure you stay put see you next wednesday at 8 pm here on sana namitindo wema tv i was your boy isaac barak odara